Hello and welcome to this demonstration of my CRM system built using Google Sheets and JavaScript. I built this system to help a small NGO manage their volunteer data. There's quite a lot to cover, so I'm going to break it into two parts. The first video, this one, will be about managing individual records. The second video will be about reporting and managing records en masse. If you would like a copy of this spreadsheet, I've left a link in the description which you can follow to download a blank template. Let's begin. The screen you see at the moment is the View Volunteer tab. This is where you can add, edit and delete individual records. To add a new record, all you have to do is enter a name and any other information you have about that person and press Save. So here I'm adding Joe Bloggs. Let's imagine they've applied to be a volunteer and their email address is joeblogs at blogsy.com. and hit save. Confirm that you want to add Joe Bloggs as a new volunteer record. And there you have it, the record's been created. To open a record, click the name drop down and find the record from the list. Or you can start typing and it will come up automatically. And then click open. Just a quick note to mention at this point, all the data you see here is dummy data, and so there is no actual real personal information. So here we have a nicely filled out record. There are a few specific fields I'd like to quickly show you. The date of birth field, if we change the date of birth, the age here will automatically update. Similarly, the duration of their volunteer placement is automatically calculated based on their arrival and departure dates. You can also change whether you see this in days, weeks, or months. Further down, we have holiday entitlement. This is just to monitor how much time the volunteers have taken off. So let's say they're entitled to 10 days of holiday, and they've taken five of those already. The remaining amount here is calculated automatically. Finally, if we go over to accommodation, i.e. where the volunteers are staying, we have these two fields, volunteer house contract and volunteer house deposit. Currently, this record is set to stay in central flats. So we see this not applicable indicator by the fields below. If I change it to the volunteer house, the not applicable disappears and that shows us that we need to record whether this person has signed the contract and paid the deposit. Great, so I've made some changes to this record. So if I click clear, it will now ask me, are you sure you want to discard all these changes? And I don't, so I will click cancel and save the record instead. Perfect. Now if I click clear, it will take me back to an empty record. There is also an added bonus feature of the clear button. If someone has changed a field name or they've uh, removed one of the automatic fields, which they shouldn't do because they're warned not to, but if they did, then clicking clear will put the form back to the default values. And it will once again appear how it is supposed to. Something else to show you is that when you have the record open, if you change the name to something else, both the name field and the name up in the top right will be highlighted red. This is to show that the record we currently have open does not match the name that we have entered. So these fields in the top right show the information of the currently open record, and that is the name of the record and the record ID. But this doesn't mean that I can't change the name of an existing record. So if I click save now, it will ask me if this is a new record, yes or no. So I would say, no, it's not a new record. And I will then be asked, are you sure you want to change this record from Belinda King to Tom New? Which I do, so I click yes. Now that record has been saved with the new name and those red highlights have disappeared. If you want to delete a record, first you must open it and then you click delete. 
You will then be asked if you want to delete or anonymize the record. First, I want to show you how to anonymize. So I enter anon and click OK. And what this does is it anonymizes a name, it removes the date of birth, the mobile number, and the email address. And it will also clear the custom fields and the notes. So essentially it's removing all personal data or all fields that could contain personal data. To completely delete the record, do exactly the same, but this time enter Dell instead of a non. And click OK. And that will delete the record. You will see the data is still showing at the moment, so if you have deleted the wrong record by mistake, you can simply click save and it will re-add it to the system. Otherwise, if I click clear now, the whole thing is removed entirely. Next, I want to show you volunteer actions. When you open a record, you can then click on the vol actions tab. And in here, you will see all the different actions linked to this record. Actions is essentially a place to record more information about the relationship with the individual and give it a date stamp. So for example, we can see here when they had their entry interview and who took it. We can also see some information about when and how they've paid their contribution. To add a new action, simply enter the notes here. And once you've done that, you can enter the date and click add. And that will add it to the list below. The list is in chronological order. And if you want to delete any of the actions, simply select the tick box by the action you want to delete and click the delete button. The last thing I want to show you in this video is custom fields. When you're looking at a record, you can see this section here called custom fields. And this is essentially future proofing the system a little bit. It allows users to add new fields quickly and easily without having to redesign the whole system. To add a new field, we go to the custom fields tab. Here, we can rename any one of those fields. So for example, let's change custom field one to be arrival details. This changes that field across the whole system. So if I go back to the record, I can see arrival details now appears here and I can enter the information in the field next to it, like so. I click save and that's now updated the record. That's what I'm going to show you for this video. In the next video, I will demonstrate the dashboard, the query tool, and how you can delete records on mass. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in having a copy of this spreadsheet, please check the description. You can also get in touch if you have any questions.